Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and I am here with an update for Pango. This is a project where you choose, you, you have a game board of 25 shadows and you randomly choose the letter P-A-N-G-O and you do down or across to see which row or column you are going to start panning. I um, saw this project on Jessica Lee's channel originally and I then asked Ruth from Ruth Foley if she would like to join me. So I'll have all the information listed in the description box below, but this is the palette that I chose to work on. And I decided that all of the rows and columns were up for the pickings except for this bottom one. So I was choosing from these five and then the five going across and the row that we chose was N across. So this is the row right here that I have been working on. So if you'd like to see how I got this eye look, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a shade that's not part of my pango, and I'm going to do Secret Santa all up into my transition. So I was excited that we got a few questions on Ruth's community tab. I'm hoping that we maybe get more for next time. I think Ruth and I are trying to feel like if we should, because we're, we're both like, oh my gosh, we're never going to hit pan in our shadows. So we're thinking about doing a usage goal. What would you guys think about that? So whoever hits the usage goal in all the shadows first would hit Pango. And then we can decide from there if we want to keep doing it, which I don't know. Um, so we were thinking 20 uses because so far she has 20 uses on one of her shades. And I was like, okay, I don't have that at all. So we'll see. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into Santa Baby. Oh, that was Secret Santa. Now I'm going to go in with Santa Baby. That is one of the shades. And I'm just going to put that in the crease area. So the first question that was asked, I'm not going to say names because I don't, I don't know if they want us to. So I'm, I'm not going to. Um, I don't know if Ruth did or not. But anywho, um, how the heck do you keep track of all the projects products you're panning and how do you manage to do them all so I have um I have like kind of a weird system because I only wear makeup like two times a week so I know for a project panner that's not very good so what I do is um I have spreadsheets in excel for each of the pro projects and I have all my products listed so that way I know like, okay, this project has this, this project has that. I'm gonna go in with Sugar Plum in the outer crease in outer seven, the outer corner there. Um, so I know like, okay, I have these projects coming up. And then what I do is I take um, like little baskets and I might, I might, I filmed like a, organizing video that I'm going to hopefully get up. I vlogged a little bit of that when I got my new desk and so I might put that up. But anyway, I have like little baskets that I keep on my makeup desk that I put like, you know, um, child of the nineties project in this basket child, like, and I put them in order of the projects. So I know that these are the products that I have to work on next. Um, you'll notice that my usages, if you if you watch my channel, um, aren't the greatest because I don't, you know, I don't wear makeup all the time. It'll change a little bit in the summer when I have time off and I'm not teaching. Um, but I also pan. My goals in my panning product or projects reflect that. So like you'll see, like I don't have high usage goals in my panning projects because I won't meet those goals at all. And for me, it'll just get frustrating and I won't want to do it. So that's how I do mine. Um, everybody has their own system. Let's see. I'm going to now go in with Nutcracker, 
what was that? Sugar plum, nutcracker. I'm marking off my usages because I don't want to forget. That's the other thing. Like in this palette for Pango, I have a little post-it note so I can keep a tally of all the shades that I use. And then I have a notebook that I put pictures of all my palettes in that I can check mark when I use the shades. Um, and that way I know like this is this right now is part of my spring. Well, it's going to be in my my rotation until we're done with Pango. So once I use up all the shades, then I'm only going to be focusing on the Pango shades, if that makes any sense. And then like I have the ColourPop Garden Variety palette that's in my spring. So as I use shades in here, I'll check them off and then that'll go into my um, review section so I can review them for you. So that's another way that I handle that. Um, all right, let me go in. I'm gonna do a little bit of Nutcracker on the lid, but only in that like middle to outer because I don't want it to be too dark. Um, so, okay, so that was the first question. And then the next question that was asked was, how long does it take you to do your makeup on days when you are not in a rush? Well, my rushing makeup take, takes me maybe 10 minutes. Like if I really wanted to get up 10 minutes early for work, I could wear makeup every day. I'm just lazy and I don't, which is a darn shame, isn't it? It's one of my like things for at least next year that I'm going to try to focus on and get better at because I think I'm going to use frosting, which is another shade in this palette, but not part of the Pango in that inner corner to blend it. Oh, that's pretty. Um... Anyway, when I'm not in a rush, I mean, sometimes I could spend 45 minutes, you know, layering creams and powders and trying different techniques and, oh, I didn't like that and, oh, I like this. And so it's it's kind of fun if I want to take my time. Um, sometimes I do like WhatsApp with Deb. I haven't done that in a while, but we'll do that sometimes. And so then we're both putting on makeup together and we're talking. Um, I'm going to go in and with Decked Out now. And I'm going to put that in the outer portion of my lid for some shimmer. Oh, I love that. So, yeah, so I do that. And then um, that'll take me sometimes 45 minutes, depending. And then, you know, I always keep everything out so I can put my tallies in my counter spreadsheet so I know how much I've used, you know, how many times I've used that product. Because some of my projects have um, usage goals. So oh, I love this. I love this palette, guys. It is so pretty. I'm so glad I decided to use this for this. <sighs> I remember saying to Ruth, I'm going to use my Naughty palette. I think she's um, she has a little FOMO because she didn't get it. All right. And then now I'm going to go in with ornaments, which is oh, such a pretty, pretty pastel pink, like iridescent everything. Everything. It's so pretty. Um, and if I wanted this to pop more, I could wet my brush or go in with my finger. But you know what? I like that it's just like a subtle wash right now. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to blend the heck out of everything so that it kind of go all goes together. And then maybe I'll go back in with this to put over the top. Okay. I'm going to take that blending brush and just blend. Um, if you could only own one eyeshadow palette which would it be or what colors would you want in it if you could create your own oh that's really hard um it would definitely have to have like neutrals in it like here's one that Ruth sent me that I really love this one is like a one and done for me I love this it is gorgeous I can use all the shades together so that would be a possibility. Let me go grab another one. This Revlon palette I got on Amazon for like a dollar something. And this was the best find. I was so impressed with this. This would also be a contender. So maybe these shades with those other shades would be fantastic. Um, I probably would want... Um, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, probably would want like greens and browns and like mauves. And I would also want some like dual chromies because I love that. So yeah, 
So yeah, all right, so let me finish up my look. Ooh, maybe I'll come in with chestnuts too, cause that's super pretty, that's shimmery. What is that? Oh, that's so pretty, okay. Oh, that's pretty. It's hard for you guys to pick up, but. All right, I got a couple more shades down for my no pan left behind challenge portion. Um, okay, so let me finish the rest of my look and I will come back and show you the finished look with everything. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so that's my update for Pango. I hope that you liked my, um, I guess, answers to the questions that were asked and I hope that you like my finished look. Um, make sure you go check out Ruth's channel. Like I said, I'll have all the information listed in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon.